All right, so we're in my bathroom right now because this is where actually I go <clears throat> and I check my arm progress the most, I guess. And uh, it's also where I was posing because right now it's, like, it's pretty late right now, it's past 1 a.m. But it's also where I was posing uh, just those who perhaps they probably relate, you know, when those night, night, late night posing sessions where you just, you know, pose and you. You should be going to bed, but you're tr tracking your progress, looking at new improvements and the new lines, the new cuts on your body. But now it's where I actually check my arm and see how it is. So I'm just gonna let you know, let's show you the difference between the two right now. So, so you can see here, you can see the difference. I'm not gonna, I can't really flex my arm yet, but this gives you an idea. Like that, see? Bad arm, good arm. Kind of flex, but I'm not flexing right now. See the different tricep? And not the good arm like that. You know what's funny? Actually, if you look at the lats, the lat, there's not really a difference in the lats yet. Like this side didn't got, get smaller for some reason. And I think my chest, like, I just a little bit of my chest, got smaller a little bit. But the shoulder also, you can notice a little bit, especially in the rear delt here. Here, a little bit less, right? Hmm. Yeah, like like that, you can really tell. <laughs> See that? Yeah. But the scar, the scar is getting better, actually. See that? You can see here, it's healing up pretty well. And here, the lump is not nearly as bad. A little flex here and this is kind of dirty looking I should clean it up probably but I'm supposed to uh, keep those things and just wait until they leave by themselves but uh, yeah maybe I could clean it up actually oh look what I found those are very handy right now <laughs> okay so surgery but now I can actually go all the way there before it starts to kind of hurt so it's not too bad look it's getting there right and also um, my supination pretty good right but my pronation is kind of stuck there <sighs> kind of hurts ah. <sighs> supination pronation it's getting better and um, my, actually my physio, she gave me exercises to do. And one of them is I just grab my, 
grab my forearm and just kind of force the rotation for the stipulation. And she said to grab the forearm to make sure I get a the twist in the elbow because if I just twist my wrist I'll get just the wrist gonna take a lot of the twist there but I want my elbow to get more range of motion too not just the wrist right so I do this and then I turn around uh, and then twist it on the other side while keeping the elbow tucked close to the side of like that and then I go on the other side like that I do a few reps actually, I wrote it down somewhere. I didn't really follow it to the letter because I was busy this weekend. But I'm gonna do it multiple times a day pretty much. And also, I have another physio exercise, I'll, I'll go get it right now. All right, so I couldn't find my elastic because I got the uh, asparagus elastic. I think I showed you in the last video. Uh, it's like a thicker elastic sometimes, they're blue. So you put them in your hand like that and you extend. But um, I also got this ball here. I guess you want to get it, just go there, headmaster. So I put the thumb here, like that. I put one finger here, one finger here, one here, and one here. Okay. And then you can actually extend, extend, and then you can squeeze the ball, extend squeeze the ball so it's pretty cool yeah there's a pretty hard resistance but it works squeeze the ball so I could do like maybe 30 seconds she gave me the on the program like 30 seconds of doing this but I guess you could do 30 reps you know or I just do it until I get a nice little pump a nice little burn in the forearm and then I can do the other side, squeeze the ball. Then I can use it with my thumb. And so then also what I would do is I would extend and just move my wrist while I extend like that. Just get different kind of range of motion, you know. See the muscles working a little bit. Oh, it's becoming more alive, more alive. So I get that. Multiple times a day, I'm supposed to extend my fingers for 30 rests for 30 seconds, and then I take a rest. I do it three times. Same thing here. Three sets of like squeezing. Hmm. Like that. Plus the twisting on the forearm. And uh, that's what I'm supposed to do. That's, that's all I'm supposed to do right now. And I have the brace there that I showed you last time at uh, 45 degrees, but now I'm at, they said 10 degrees per week. So I put it to, there's no, there wasn't, there was not any 35, so I put it to 30. And it's actually like uh, exactly where I'm opening. So I have a physio tomorrow also, and she will actually assist me with my range of motion. And she, oh, she was massaging my arm also bring the swelling down. So I do it myself also. I just put my elbow on the table and I just massage myself. Cause there's a little pieces that are kind of hard like here. It's like, it's like hard. But if I massage it, cause I have pieces here, oh here also. It was hard here. It was a big piece that was hard, but I massaged it like that. And then it just went away. So I don't know what the fuck it is. I think it's maybe blood. But if I massage it like that, it just goes away a little bit. It's supposed to go towards the elbow. Towards the elbow. Yeah. The best would be to have a little special someone that would just massage my forearm for me. But, you know, what the fuck am I going to do? There's nobody out here for me like that. But, uh, yeah. But uh, I'm pretty positive. Yeah, I know this. It's, my arm looks just looks stupid because it's small. But uh, I'm pretty surprised how fast it goes down, though. Like seriously, like, <laughs> like you know. But um, 
uh, in the post I did today on Instagram, my body adapts really well to anything. So I can get shredded really quick. If I, because I, you know, when I do something, I do it good. I can get shredded pretty quick. I can gain weight really fast also, as you just saw, you know, because I'm like almost 200 pounds now. Well, I am 30, I was 300 pounds, but I just went down a few pounds. Um, so I can get cut really easily. I can get, I can gain weight easily. I can gain muscle easily. And I guess I can also lose muscle easily. It's like my body adapts really well to whatever I make it, make it do. It's a, the body is an adaptive machine. All, all, everything that's alive that's evolved on the planet Earth is a, is adapts to its environment, right? And um, that's how that's how the human body works. Also, if you run, if I would go out and run right now, I'd be freaking exhausted, right? Really quick. But if I would run every day and push myself every day, I would get good cardio at some point. My body adapts to it. When we lift weights, we start, where our arms start small, but then we push it, we make it work, and then the body's like, shit, I gotta adapt myself to this fucking constant tension with the weights that every day I'm uh, experiencing. So then your body forces your muscles to grow stronger and bigger to uh, make sure that next time the load is easier to do, the work is easy to do it adapts itself so you first start with a small arm <laughs> and then it adapts to a good arm yeah so and because of that I think my genetics because I adapt pretty well easily to whatever I'm doing I think my right arm once I start training it it's, it's gonna go pretty quick to a, its normal size I believe that so I'm gonna I'm gonna Hope on that, I guess, but uh, I'm, I'll make it happen. I just gotta be patient and, and smart, right? And also another cool thing that I can that uh, she told me to because I told her I got this uh, free sleeve there. The physio told her I got a free sleeve. She said that three times a day, ten minutes, and uh, I'll show you. It's called a free sleeve. They have an Instagram, and uh, they don't ship to Canada yet. But they do ship in the U.S. And I'm not I'm not sponsored by them or anything. But they did send me a fuse, a knee sleeve, a blanket, and an elbow sleeve. So this is a, this is very cool. It's an ice pack. It's like a malleable ice pack. So you put it in a, in a freezer, and then you can put it on your arm like that after training, and then you can time yourself. Hey Siri, put a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes and counting. There we go. Nice, right? So 10 minutes like that, three times a day. So let's say if you have a bad elbow when you're training, two hours after training, because I, I think right away after, you're not supposed to put ice, you gotta wait like two or three hours. So later in the day, you put your sleeve, and then boom, you reduce the inflammation, you can uh, enhance your recovery. So that's good for inflammation. So I'm using that. I have a big knee one too. I didn't use it, use it at the end of my kit. So yeah, so just check him out, you know? And if you're in the US, it's a great investment, I think. Like, if they didn't send, send it to me, I would have bought one, but they don't ship to Canada. Yeah. So what else can I say about this little update? Um, nothing, I guess. Just, uh, that was just a little update I wanted to give you guys. But it's getting there, right? You can see the improvement from video to video. So I think we're on the right track. Because if you, especially now, I can like almost unbend my arm all the way. It's pretty good. See that? I'm not locking my elbow yet, but almost. And I'm um, training legs hard, training my left side hard, uh, training my traps with the standing calf machine hard, hyperextension for lower back, and. Uh, I think I'm, gonna, I'm even going to get the captain of uh, Crush Grippers. I wish I had a Grip Genie one from Grip Genie, but I don't have it. So, Captain of Crush Gripper. The ball, the extension. Yeah, so, 
I guess uh, the little ball there counts as uh, working out my right arm. So I can actually work out my little muscles in my forearm now for higher reps. So we'll start with that. So thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to the channel, please. Cause we're almost at 100K. So thanks everybody who's subscribing, the OGs and the new Gs. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, have a nice day, I guess. All right.